Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waka Kudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. And Shalom to the Archeum that's pushing his truth in sincerity across the globe. Well, I just want to get into a, a video, and um, this is going to be focusing on this article I've just come across on the um, express.co.uk which is um, a newspaper that we have here um, in the UK now um, it reads Russia war threat Putin shows up terrifying weapons decades ahead of rivals now I'll read that again it says Russia war threat Putin shows off terrifying weapons decades ahead of rivals right now you know what this article is basically about is um you know president putin you know displaying his military might okay displaying his military might to the world and showing the world that you know concerning the military might concerning the technology that they possess He's basically saying that he's far ahead of all the other nations, right? Now that includes America, um, and that includes Iran, that includes China, that includes, you know, all the nations around the world. They're basically boasting that their military might is far ahead technology-wise and, you know, destruction capability than any other nation, man, right? And this is indeed, you know, is, is a fact, man, because... You know, for this um, divine purpose, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to be with Russia. You know, to the to the point of destroying, you know, Babylon, which is known today as America, man. You know, now it says here amid rising tensions between Russia and the U.S. and U.K., Mr. Putin told young recruits they had the military advantage including a missile absolutely invulnerable to defense systems so you know they have they have um, missiles that are actually not even possible to shoot down with the with the defense systems man right so that just shows you how far ahead they actually are concerning military might so when that war does pop off you know all of them missiles as the scripture tells you are going to hit america man and we've been you know, one hour, America is going to be com completely annihilated, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, because, you know, Russia is not doing this because they're a great nation, right? Russia is doing this because the Lord is allowing them to make this technology and, and is allowing them to advance, you know, ahead of the other nations, man, primarily America. It's only the Lord that is allowing them to do so. The scriptures tell you that, you know, the Lord gives the in the increase, man. You know, all things follow the, the format and the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's all things, man. Right? Nothing can happen unless the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai actually sanctions it and allows it to happen, unless it's part of his will. And it says, He told cadets this week they had nothing to fear from rival armies as the Cold War with Europe and America continued to escalate. Mr. Putin said a number of our weapons systems are years and perhaps decades ahead of foreign analogs, man. You know, decades ahead, man. Right? Modern weapons continue to uh, multifold increase in the Russian military potential. But you know, here you can see some of the artillery that they have. You know, they got the Satan II. You know that can that can wipe out a large part of the United States alone, and that's just one, you know, intercontinental ballistic missile that we're talking about here, man. Right? There, there's going to be millions that are going to be shot upon America, Babylon the Great. Now it says here we have achieved a real breakthrough thanks to the colossal efforts by science and design gurus and industries, a real feat by workers, engineers, and scientists. Right now, this goes into the first scripture that I want to bring out. This is Isaiah 54 and verse 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, 
and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the ways to destroy it. So it's Yahweh Shem Yahushai that has actually, you know, created the work and the scientists put in their mind to actually give them the ability to create these weapons of mass destruction, man. Right? It's all through the power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. The Lord has sanctioned these things to happen. The Lord has sanctioned these missiles to be created, man. It's the Lord that's given the inspiration for such things to be created. Right? But as it tells you in the scripture, um, the blood of the coals and the fire that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Right? So it's all for the Lord's determination and will to do what he pleases with this technology, man. So he's going to put the spirit on Russia, on Gog and Magog, to actually, you know, go into full scale World War Three with America, man. Right, and you know, the, the king's heart is in the hand of, of the Lord, man. And he's going to give the spirit, well, he already has given the spirit to Trump, President Trump, to go all out against Russia, right? So, these conflicts and these disagreements and the friction is going to continue to happen. The wars and the rumors of wars is going to continue to happen, it's going to continue to boil up, and things are going to continue to escalate to the point of physical, full on full-blown contact right that is that is a must right because it's prophecy right now it says here he highlighted the hypersonic avant-garde missile as particular cause for concern for enemy leader boasting it can fly 20 times the speed of sound 20 times the speed of sound right he said it is absolutely invulnerable to any air or missile defense means earlier this week it was revealed Plans for a huge Cold War era nuclear flip torpedo was being reviewed. So, you know, Russia is pretty much ready for this war, man. Right? Russia is ready to annihilate, you know, America, Babylon the Great. Right? And that's 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 Yahabar Shim Yahshai's role. But what Russia don't understand is that they're just being used by the Lord. They're being used by the most high Yahabar Shim Yahshai. And then once they fulfill their purpose in this whole prophecy. They too will be brought down low through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and their demise will 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 also be um, executed. Man, right now the second scripture I want to bring out is Isaiah fifty-five and verse eleven. It says, "So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth; it shall not return unto me void." So anything the the Lord has said in these scriptures, anything the Lord has declared and laid down you know, for prophecy, is going to come to pass, man. As long as the Lord has said it, it is going to come to pass. Because the Lord is not having any power that should lie. And the Lord is not the author of confusion. And because of this, he is bound by his word, right? That's why we have great faith and belief, right, that we are going to come back into power, right? And we are going to take over rulership that's going to be instituted Unto us through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Why? Because it's written in the Holy Scriptures and it is documented as prophecy, and we believe it will come to pass because it is written in the Scriptures, and we believe in the Scriptures. Right? And it says here, but it shall accomplish that which I please. So the Lord pleases for these things to happen. The Lord pleases for these for the advancement of these nuclear technologies that are going to cause the great destruction. To befall upon America and ultimately the whole world, right? Because the whole world has got to pay for what they have done to you, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the biblical Israelites, man, right? So it displeases the Lord to see the advancement of these things forming into place because it's all forming into the events of prophecies being fulfilled, right? It shall it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing. Where well, until I send it, right? So that's how it's gonna go. That's exactly how it's gonna go. The way the Lord has crafted this whole story, the way the Lord has crafted the events that you're seeing play out, playing out on the news. You know all these statements that you know Donald Trump makes and that Putin makes and these threats, and again the wars and the rumors of wars. It's all going according to the Lord's will. It's all building up slowly but gradually, but really it's not even slowly. Right? It seems like it's slowly in our, our, our time our time frame, 
and the way that we think, but the Lord really is moving things up really, really fast, man, right? Because these articles, these kind of articles that are coming out, you can make a video on this 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 theme of article right here of World War Three every single week because without fail every week, a, a dozens of these articles are being released, man. Right, but the spirit might jump on you, you know, every few weeks to to make a World War Three article because World War Three is um you know it's it's part of prophecy, man. It's one of the major prophecies that has to come to pass. Right, and then the whole book would have been fulfilled. And then, you know, you have the RFID chip, you know, and obviously, you know, the return of Yahweh Shim Yao Shai, right? Which Lord, Lord willing will be very soon, man. Right? This 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 thing, this this World War Three, this is gonna happen in our generation, man. Right? The Lord is not gonna allow this to fester and allow this to um tarry on much longer. This is going to happen in our generation. Right, World War Three will indeed happen in our generation because World War Three will happen in our generation. The return of Yahweh Shem Yahu Shai will indeed happen in our generation, man. Right, this could happen a year from now. This could happen a few months from now. Things can change really fast in a short period of time. Right, the, the, nothing is too far fetched for our power. Nothing is too far fetched for Yahweh Shem Yahu Shai, man. That's that's the, these are the things. That we have to remember, right? Don't get too wrapped up in the world because the Lord had told us Himself in the scriptures that He shall come like a thief in the night. Now, a thief in the night is going to come unexpectedly, man, right? So that's why you always have to be on point. You always have to be on the ball and you always have to be looking and yearning for the appearance and the return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakodash. You have to. Why right, you always got to remain in that spirit because you do not want to be caught unawares, man, right, and unprepared. You want to be prepared and you want to send up them prayers daily to hope that, you know, your, your, your transgressions have been blotted out through the spirit, man. Because if not, you know, your life is going to be required in that dreadful day. Now, this is Jeremiah chapter 50. And verse 14, and it says, Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord. Right? So this is why ultimately World War Three is going to take place, man. Because Babylon, which is America, right, is going to be um, annihilated with these with these with these missiles, man. During World War Three, that's why the scriptures here says spare no arrows. These arrows are a representation of the um, of the nuclear missiles, man. That are going to be shot from Russia and from the other nations around the world, from China, from Iran, you know, India. All of these nations are going to turn against Babylon, Babylon the Great, man, and they're going to shoot these missiles upon that land and destroy that land, man. And that land is going to forevermore be a memorial, man, right? So put yourselves in array against Babylon round about, all ye that bend the bow, right? Shoot at her, spare no arrows. So all of these, every single missile that these nations have, you know, around the world are going to be shot upon this, this, this sinful and wicked nation, America, man. That's what people don't understand. Every single one of those missiles that have been developed will be shot. Right? Upon America, man. Right? So that just shows you. That's why there's going to be such a thing called the lake of fire. Right? That so such a thing could only be created with, with, with that amount of arrows that's going to be shot upon America, man. Right? For she has sinned against the Lord. And that's that's for transgression against Yahweh Shem Yahushai. That's for putting Yahweh Shem Yahushai's people in slavery. Hardcore bondage, man. That's payback. Right? I for an eye, two for a tooth, man. These are the things that are gonna happen to Esau, the so-called white man, right? Who are the biblical Edomites, man. That's they got a heavy judgment to pay for, man. And the scriptures also say Satan be be cast against Satan. How should these kingdoms stand? You're gonna have Russia being the main aggressor in this story, man. Right? In this great story that Yahweh Hashem Yahshai set up. So Esau essentially is gonna take himself down. The heathen are gonna take themselves down, man. Right, and then uh, you know, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American, they elect to us, Lord willing, 
you know, are going to take over from there. The transition of kingdoms, man. You know? But, um, you know, we, we got to watch and pray, man. Because we in serious times right now. And, you know, through the spirit in our generation, World War Three will indeed take place. And with that, I'll say Shalom.